My name is Stella Mankwicki. I'm a daughter of Stanley and Mary uh, Maxian Kozowski. My grandparents, my parents were introduced by my father's uncle, and they were married in 19, uh, 1907. Uh, uh, the uncle's name was second name, I don't know, also Antosha. And uh, then my parents, uh, and the, the, the two weeks after my parents were married, my grandmother passed away, was uh, Catherine Kozlowski. And my parents lived with my mother's parents, Adam and Marianne Arshak, in Ruskowinka. In 1913, uh, before my sister was born, my father went to America. Then the uh, then my sister was born in September first, and I was born 1909. That's four years before uh, my sister. And uh, then uh, we stayed with my parents during the First World War there, and uh, my father couldn't get in touch with us. But when he did get in touch, he used to send us money and. The, my pa the parents and the grandparents decided that the three of us, my mother, my sister, and I should go to America to be with my father. That was decided by my grandparents, uh, Adam and uh, Mary and Parcha. So we got in, into America in, 19, in November, uh, the 27th of November in 19... 23. And had been in, in Chicago here for all these while. Show you To get back to my father, uh, my mother, they were both and only children living. My grandmother, Parchak, had two small children. One died of some type of uh, baby sickness at the age of nine, and the second one was two years old. It was a boy and a girl. And my father, my no father's name? father, no. And uh, my father's father he passed away, some kind of flu, something at the age of 36. And he left the two children, my father and a sister. I don't know her name. She was at the age of 12. She died too. And uh, so then uh, during that time, the, my parents were getting married. They, uh, there was only one, each one was an only child of their parents. Living. Yeah, that was living. And then, uh, shut it off. Now what? Uh, since my father left in 1913, when the First World War came, so we couldn't get in touch with, with neither of us, with nobody. So when, as soon as it got there, we got, my father used to write letters, send us money, and send us a uh, visa uh, to come to America. So we, um, my mother, my sister Phyllis and I, we came here in November of 1923. And it took us 30 days. By stopping in England for a week, stopping a couple of days in Posen, and uh, and uh, that, and, it, and before we got on the ship there, it was real slow freight. Uh, before we arrived at the Ellis Island, that's the first time. Ellis Island, that in Europe. Yes, that uh, everybody did, and uh, so then we took a train and came over here. In the meantime, I was giving my mother problems. I better put that in. I gave my mother problems before the ship uh, pulled away from the dock in Southampton, England. Well, I got lost uh, on a ship, but I got lost and I couldn't find my place. And my mother was worried that I was uh, left on land. And uh, but after that, I was on the 
on the, on the ship there. Everybody was seasick except I. I, I couldn't miss a meal. So when I had a spy on my eye, I went to the doctor. The doctor said we should stay in the cabin out of wind. And all. So, so, so then before we came to New York, and then we took a train with a box lunch. We came to, uh, uh, to Chicago, to one of the uh, railroad stations, the railroad station, to one of the railroad stations. My father already had an apartment for us, not large, just three rooms, furnished. And he met us at the station, so it was strange coming in. But we had friends and relatives here that could speak our language. So there was a, so we learned how to go into the bed, uh, going back, uh, uh, during the war time. My father was in there in here. You know, as I said before, I had lost his grandparents who were both dead. So my Adam and Mary and Parchuk, my, and we, and then I, my sister and my mother lived with them when the war came in. That was, uh, when the German, uh, chased the Russians out of Poland, and uh, during the war time, uh, it was a cold. When I was about five, uh, five, five, five and a half years old, we had to leave the home, told me to lay in a wagon, so the, with all the bullets going through between the Russian and the Germans, and uh, so we had to leave the home and go to, into the forest and stay there in March, in cold, put feather bed on our ground so, so we wouldn't freeze, carry water from the well, uh, uh, about two, three blocks in the pail for the people. We have a small fire, bonfire, so we could heat up some food there, put the cow with us, so we all share, we milk the cow and we share it between the children. Uh, the milk over there. While the bullets was going over our heads and that, we had to be quiet so we wouldn't uh, be invaded. So when the time came for us, when everything got finished, back to our home, everything was stopped, so the turvy hay over the uh, cabin, over the floor, and nothing much to that. We had to scrunch around to get something to eat. So when the German occupy our thing there. So, so they, uh, as a joke, I went there between the soldiers. I liked the uniforms when I was about six years old. So what happened? They gave me a t-shirt. The German fellow gave me a t-shirt. So I brought it home. And my grandmother 